The sights and sounds of progress in Lebanon, the new Miami Valley Gaming Racino is set to open in less than two months now. We were invited to take a hard hat tour today to get a first look inside. A lot of the gaming area is in, as you can see, with 1,600 video slot machines, but there's still a lot of work to go on the harness racetrack that'll seat a thousand fans. Reps say they are excited to be smack dab in the middle of Dayton and Cincinnati. Ooh, it's looking good. Mm -hmm. Well, we got another hard hat tour today of the construction underway at Dayton's newest Racito, set to open up hopefully by next summer. Wally Alley shows us what we can expect from Dayton's Racino and how the competition mm -hmm. is quickly heating up. Larry Parr owns the Paradise Key Cafe right across the street from the Dayton Racino. Going to bring about a thousand jobs, and of course the construction workers are already over there working. They're buying fuel, and they're getting their tires here, and they're uh, buying food from us. So anyway, so it's already having a large economic impact on the area. But competition will be fierce with the new Miami Valley Gaming Racino opening up this December, just 30 miles away. But Parr says he isn't concerned. Should be enough business for everybody, I think. And the president of Miami Valley Gaming also says he's not concerned about competition. We believe we've got a top-notch facility in terms of amenities and restaurants. We believe there's enough in the marketplace for everyone to compete effectively. We know it's a very competitive market. Uh, but we, we're committed to uh, the project. We haven't scaled back in terms of some of the offerings as, as our competitors have. So we're comfortable we're bringing the right product at the right time. Today we got a first-hand look inside the new Dayton facility. The Hollywood at Dayton Raceway Racino is expected to include 1,500 video slot machines and a 5 eighths of a mile track for the horses. Okay, don't make fun of the way I look. I had to put on the hard hat and the glasses just to come inside this construction zone. But let me show you what's in here. We have the barn where the horses will be. The steel beams are getting in place for those. Behind us we have the steel beams getting in place for where the actual gaming facility will be. And then we have over here the racetrack surrounding a couple of ponds where you'll see the horses running around. All of this scheduled to be done, hopefully, by next summer. And while drivers have complained about increased traffic flow, the local businesses love it. We are so thrilled and so happy about the fact of the economic impact that this is going to bring to Dayton, Ohio, and particularly to North Dayton. In Dayton, Wale Aliu, ABC 22 News. And Penn National Gaming owners of the Dayton Racino expect to have the shell of the building in place before winter and say they will start hiring after the first of the year.